Welcome to the Miele Dishwasher Cleaning and Care video. All appliances that operate with water require a certain amount of maintenance that will help improve performance and help extend the life of the machine. Water can be very harsh on your appliance's internal plumbing and components. Proper cleaning and care are essential in order to prevent potential calcium and mineral buildup. Today we will show you how to remove and clean your triple filter system. We will also cover what to do in case you find water at the bottom of your wash cabinet after the cycle has completed. So we will also show you how to access and remove the non-return valve and look for foreign objects within the valve and also by the drain pump impeller. For demonstration purposes, we will be using the G2170. Please refer to your operating instructions for details regarding your specific model. If you should find water above your triple filter at the bottom of the wash cabinet after the cycle is complete, it's possible you might have a foreign object within your non-return valve or by the drain pump blocking the impeller. First, turn the dishwasher off. Remove the lower basket and place it aside. Let's get a container and a small cup and remove the excess water from the bottom of the wash cabinet. Now that the excess water has been removed, it's time to remove the triple filter so we can remove and check the non-return valve and inspect the drain pump. The triple filter system in the base of the wash cabinet prevents food from being redeposited on dishes. It also protects the circulation pump from damage caused by foreign objects such as glass, pits, and other small debris. The machine must not be used without all the filters in place. Check and clean the filter system every four to six months. The level of soiling and time it takes before the filters need cleaning will vary depending on your household. Next, we will remove the triple filter. Now, this is not required, but I like to remove the bottom spray arm so I can have easier access to the filter and non-return valve. It just lifts straight up. Turn the handle counterclockwise to release the triple filter system. For now, we will put the triple filter system aside and clean after we remove and check the non-return valve. To remove the non-return valve, tilt the locking clamp towards the sump. You may notice a rush of water when the non-return valve is removed. This is normal. As you can see, there's a piece of plastic under the drain pump impeller. We will also check the non-return valve for debris as well. The non-return valve prevents dirty water from backing up into the wash cabinet. There's a metal ball that seats on a rubber ring and it seals correctly. Make sure there is no foreign objects within the valve preventing the ball from seating properly on that seal. Rinse the valve under running water and check for foreign objects in and around the metal ball. If this separates during rinsing, just simply align and reassemble like so. Before reinstalling the non-return valve, check that the drain pump is not blocked. Spin the impeller several times in both directions to check for obstructions. Slight resistance is normal. Be careful not to cut yourself on any broken glass, which may be difficult to see. Carefully reinsert the non-return valve and secure it with the locking clamp. Make sure the locking clamp clicks into place. Okay, let's go grab and clean the triple filter we took out earlier. Remove any solid particles and rinse under running water. Scrub with a nylon brush if necessary. To clean the inside of the filter, push the two clips together and open up the cone flap. When you're done cleaning, close the filter flap so it engages like so. Return the filter so it lies flat in the base of the wash cabinet. Lock the filter by turning the handle clockwise. The triple filter system must be inserted and locked. Large particles could get into the circulation system and cause a blockage. Now, let's replace the bottom spray arm. This simply just pushes back down into place like so. Reinsert the lower basket and you're all done. This concludes this dishwasher cleaning and care video. Please check back for future instructional videos. Everything covered in this video can also be found in your operating instructions. Thanks for watching.